TV Red, episode 20.5 last week where we had the fabulous Dave Cross on. I've got to say thanks to Dave Cross. He was a wonderful guest, even though he dropped in and told me how to use, not to use brightness contrast. I kind of knew that already. Anyway, it was good to have him on board. i tell you who else is on board this week. We have a fabulous new sponsor, and I'll just hold my t-shirt up to the sign there, Peach Bit Press have come on board with a very lucrative sponsorship deal for Creative Suite TV. And I will just say this, this t-shirt will last me quite some time and it fits perfectly. So thank you very much, Peach Pit. They've got a wonderful website you should check out, peachpitcommons.com. I'll put the web address down there, down the bottom there. Okay. We're deviating off our pirate theme this week, and we're going to do something else with colour. Now, for you designers out there, this one is going to be an absolute cracker. That's right. We're going online, okay? There's going to be some wonderful stuff on there. It's an Adobe website, and it's a tightly held secret in the Adobe expert community, and I'm sure you're really going to love it. I'll be back with more after the tip. So I hope you enjoy it. And remember, Peach Bit TV, you know, the latest sponsorship deal of Creative Suite TV. It's, it's just huge. I'll admit it. I sometimes get caught surfing the net, uh, finding certain things that um, distract me for too long. But I found this thing and it is pretty cool. As a matter of fact, it's called Cooler. And for you designers out there, I think you're going to love it, and I really recommend you get on and have a look. I'm going to go ahead. I'm in Safari here, but you can access this through anything. And click on Cooler, and this is the Cooler website for creating color swatches and color panels. And you can see it's a strange-looking thing. Now, I'm just going to scroll over because I have a small screen. You can see I have already logged in here. When you log on to this website, the Cooler website, and I'll just zoom in so you can have a good look at that. I'll perhaps put that down the bottom of the screen as well. When you get onto this website, you are going to have to sign in. It's free. And then you can start creating your own color swatches. And you can see other popular swatches here that other people have created. Let's just go ahead and have a look. And you can see there's a bunch of color swatches here that other people have created. Granny Smith apples, for example, and they appear here. I can click in the middle and it shows me a large, a very large options of all of those colors. And we can rate them and we do all sorts of things once we're logged in. Okay, so there's tons here. There's you can see newest ones and we see the old ones we've created, but How do we go ahead and create our own ones as well as being able to rip off other people's? Well, let me go ahead and click on the Create button here. It's just down the bottom corner there. Hit Create and it brings up these large colors and we can see we can work in RGB, we can work in CMYK, Lab, HSV and even Hex Color down the bottom here. So there's the Hex Color there. Let's go ahead and work in RGB. And we can set our base color here. All we need to do is just drag these sliders around and the other colors will adjust automatically. Let's go ahead and choose a nice creative suite orange color. And then coming up to the top here, we can form a different rule. We can have uh, an analogous match colors with adjacent hues, monochromatic, a triad, And it is going to go ahead, Cooler is going to go ahead and create some little swatches for us. It is pretty wicked. There'll be an extra color over on the right hand side here. Shades. We can do our own custom one. I quite like this first little set of colors really quite warm. Now, if we like to use these and change them around a little bit, 
we can use this little wheel at the top here. We can simply swing the colors around, drag them in and move them about to create variations on our theme. And there's even a little tint slider here so we can darken the colors, make them a little earthier if we want. Now you're talking and we can remove colors. We can set particular colors as base. Oh, there's just so many things and we can even get a reading on all of the colors down the bottom. There's so many things we can do. You can explore in here for ages. But more importantly, over here, we can save our colors. I'll just zoom in and show you. Save our colors into our cooler space and we can also publish them as well so people can rate them. Let's go ahead and type in, what should we call this set of colors? We'll call these the creative sweet swatches and we'll just call them um, uh, Mike's podcast. So if you actually get onto the cooler website, you should be able to find these swatches because I'm going to save them right now. Mike's podcast and we'll just call them orange, uh, orange base. There we go. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and save our little swatches into our space. Let's just go right ahead and do that. So we're just saving it. It just might take a minute while that happens. And there we have it. There are our creative suite swatches. It's my new theme. I think it looks great. And I'm just scrolling across to show you. And then over here, we can either delete the theme or we can download this theme as an Adobe Swatch Exchange file. Now, if you don't know what that is, I do have a podcast that shows you all about the Swatch Exchange file. I'm going to go ahead and click that, and it will download the Creative Suite ASE file. There it is there. So where have we saved it? Let's have a look. It should be on our desktop, and it is. So now we will go over to InDesign. We'll go to our Swatches. Choose the pop-out menu. So I'm, I'm, in the, I'm in the swatches here. I'm just going to the pop-out menu right there. And we're going to say load swatches. Okay. Looking good. When we click that, we can now go to our desktop. Go to the Creative Suite ASE file. Fingers crossed. Press open. And there are our colors. Directly down from Cooler. They're RGB, they could have been CMYK, they could have been anything we like, but these are it. We have access to them inside of InDesign, and I think that is pretty radical. You can get on and explore with Cooler for ages, but I think it's awesome. Well, what a great little tip that was. But I've got some really uh, hot off the press news for you guys on the 27th of March, as of today. The 27th of March, Adobe will be announcing CS3. But didn't you just announce it, Mike? Well, I sort of have, actually. Adobe will be announcing CS3, and they'll be showcasing a whole bunch of grouse new stuff. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be awesome. CS3, here we come. There's going to be new stuff galore, the biggest release of software Adobe have ever done in their 25 years of history. God, I'm almost 25. <laughs> Look, uh, if you're after some fantastic um, stuff to learn, I have this on my online shop. This is at mcu.com.au. This is the best of InDesign CS2 disc with myself and Wayne Ring. It shows you all about... Uh, Oh, it shows you all about InDesign, all the, all the best of Creative Suite 2 stuff. Of course, our book, who's published by Peach Pit Press, is also available, uh, and that is How to Wow with InDesign CS2 as well. There's some terrific stuff coming up. You really have to stay tuned because I'm going to be killing stuff over the coming weeks. Stay tuned. Thank you. See you. Hey, baby.